Hi everybody, this is another In The Burp Review. And right now I'm showing to you guys my Slash Tool Drive. Um, this truck is really, really far from stock. Since there's a lot of competition out there with the SC10 and the HPI Blitz, uh, I have to really modify this truck so I can get the similar or better performance than those trucks. So let's just take the body and see what's going on underneath the hood. Uh, the first thing that I did, and what's the most important thing, is the chassis. The chassis is made by a company named Extreme Racing, and they made different versions of this chassis. I got the one that's like a Sobo Graphite. It's a double deck chassis, and the best feature of this chassis is it will make the truck lighter, it will make the truck stiffer, and it sinks the battery lower than the stock chassis. So you don't won't get that much uh, body roll with this chassis. You will get a better, a great improvement with the uh, center of gravity. As you can see, the chassis sits really low, and you won't see, uh, you won't see those skip plates that you normally see on the stock slash that sits the battery and the chassis higher. So this is a huge improvement. This is the best improvement that you can do on the truck. If you do this, you don't really have to buy any other truck. You just make this truck so better with this that there's no reason to replace it with something else. Um, the nice thing about this chassis is it comes with the holes. So you can accommodate the stock Trax's uh, electronics uh, with the need to use double side tape. So right now, my Belenian speed control, as you can see, is a screw to the chassis, just like the stock uh, chassis. And my receiver box is also screwed to the chassis. So nothing is mounted with double side tape over here. Everything is, uh, you know, uh, bolted into the chassis securely. And <coughs> you can, uh, the, another thing is you got the, the choice that you can mount the receiver box either on the passenger side or the driver side of the chassis so you got that option too another modification that I did is that I bought the Valenium speed control that allows you to run with two or three cell lipo and comes with a lipo cut off um, also you got the choice that you can use uh, sensor or sensorless brushless motors uh, this one right now, because I raced this truck, um, most tracks they run 17.5 on the short work class, and unfortunately there's no 17.5 uh, motors that they are sensorless, so I had to buy a sensor motor, and as you can see, they, I got the sensor cable that's hooked up to the Belenium. And I got right now the Nova Ballistic 17.5, and this is a great performer motor. It's really powerful and really strong. I think probably this is the best 17.5 on the market right now. Um, another thing that I did to um, improve the, the strength on the truck, so the truck can manage to win and finish the races without breaking anything, is I really RPM this truck to the dead. Everything that you could imagine that you can buy from RPM for this truck, I got on this truck. I got the front RPM bumper. I got also the real RPM bumper. And the nice thing with the bumper is I got the <coughs> I got the, the, the rubber flaps in the back. Uh, it makes the truck look really cool. Um, I got also the bumper holder. There's also a motor protector from RPM. I got the rear RPM arms and also I got the front RPM arms. Um, I got also the shot towers from RPM in the front and the rear. So everything in this truck is RPM. Another thing that I did is I put the big board traxxas shocks in the front and the rear to make the, the handling smoother on the truck and they are more durable than the plastic ones and another thing like this that you guys can see is I put inside the transmission the MIP ball diff and that really helps with the handling of the truck and with the traction so it's a big plus 
it just is a little bit complicated to build but honestly you get the rewards when you start you know racing this truck the way it grip to the track is unbelievable with that another thing that I did is I put the MIP CVDs and so you can see it all the way over here at the end I put the boots from Racer's Edge so you can also put you know some grease and the grease is going to stay there and it's going to keep the boots it's going to keep the CVDs lubricated so they will last longer so uh, that's one of the main improvements that I did uh, another one that I improvement that I did is I put over Futaba uh, 9451 digital servo with a Kimbrough servo saver and that really helps with the uh, steering is the servo is durable and it's really fast so it's a big plus you know on racing uh, when you got a fast servo the steering I still got the stock steering but I replaced the bushings with ball bearings so I got right now ball bearing steering on the truck another thing that I got is the personal transponder this transponder is great you know they are a little bit pricey but at the end of the race you know, have to run to the pit to be the transponder since you got your own transponder you can just uh, you can just go back to your pit and that's it at the end of the race so it's really nice um, another thing that I forgot to mention from RPM I got the RPM gear cover so this thing you know it's really nicer than the stock one and the problem with the stock one you got like a little hole uh, it's right next to the 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 the, the, the ball cock of the CVD so this one is completely sealed so you won't get any debris you know uh, getting inside your gears and putting your uh, spur gear in, in, in danger to strip or anything so pretty much this is what I got with this truck and the chassis um, right now the tires that I use is the caliber tires I think that's the best all around tires on the market nothing can compare with these I got the front ones and the rear ones uh, this ones they came pre-glue from Proline so I just have to mount it in the truck and that's it you know so it was uh, pretty cool so it's my last four wheel drive I mean two wheel drive and I control everything with my Futaba 4PK okay so thanks for watching and please comment rate and subscribe have a good one everybody Bye.